We're at the very top of Bogota right now on top of the Capaccio building. It's 50 stories up on the helipad. Not very many people get this opportunity. Right behind me, 50 story drop. Gotta be careful. Gracias, senor. Hey, my name is Robert Kaplan. Uh, obviously, you don't know who I am because uh, I'm not a celebrity, but uh, chances are you've probably seen some of what I do, which is take pictures for a living. Are you a journalist? I am a journalist. For the New York Times? Oh it's my God, guys, I'm Jim King Just pretend I'm not here, okay? Just uh, have fun, all right? I'm a 27-year-old photojournalist living in Manhattan. Uh, I work for publications like the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, ESPN Magazine, Sports Illustrated. The list goes on. I'm freelance, so if they pay, I do it. I'm here at Testis, uh, a nice little restaurant here in Palm Beach. For a city that's known for elaborate wealth and expense, this is a great place to come if you're looking to save a few bucks. I'm here in Basurto Market, here in Cartagena. You've got to watch where you walk in this place. You might be bumping into cow skulls, cow eyeballs. The esophagi, the throat area of a, a cow. Right now we're at about 27,000 feet. En route to Port-au-Prince, Haiti, we're going to evacuate four children that's having some very serious medical issues. Because of the nature of my job, I really get to see amazing things. I get to meet amazing people on a daily basis, and I never know what my next assignment's gonna bring me. Hello, this is Robert. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Typically, I'll get a call from the photo editor of a major publication. Uh, they'll tell me what I'm shooting. If it's a celebrity portrait assignment like Christina Aguilera, I was told literally an hour in advance to get to Sony Studios. I was told I'd have 30 minutes to photograph her, but in reality, I actually only had two. There are a lot of pressures when you're working for newspapers and magazines with quick deadlines. Shooting sports, you'll have deadlines that are during the game itself. I'll be shooting the first half, and then I'll have to rush into the media room, get the pictures out to them, and try to make it back down to the field before the game's over. So tell me what this play is about that we're doing right now. Well, it's doing? it's all about Marines coming back from Iraq. Uh -huh. It's taken straight from their interviews. We've had commanding officers come. Oh, and wow. They're telling us that it's their words and they're thanking us. I feel like my job is very important. Um, not just in that I'm telling these stories for you know a daily or a weekly publication, uh, but for history's sake. So in Cuba, you live on rations. You come to a store like this, and you come get your uh, weekly or monthly supply of rice and beans, and you literally get measured out how much rice you're allotted for. I feel like my job gives me a, a chance to be part of history. Viva Cuba Libre! Viva! May Day, so walking to the, or marching, I should say, to the Plaza de la Revolución. People are going to be looking back at the footage, seeing how I saw things, and seeing how things were in my generation. <music> Photography lets me travel the world, lets me meet amazing new people, different cultures. Ah, buenas tardes. Muy bien, gracias. This is Gustavo. He is our driver, uh, former employee of Halliburton and uh, also formerly a bodyguard, so I feel very safe. Whenever I shoot an assignment, I learn all these new things about that society or that person or that place, and I get to show it to others through my photography. Like my surgical mask, uh, they have a certificate, a health certificate here, which requires them to actually wear these masks. I've actually never seen anything like this, even in uh, New York restaurants. A lot of the times when I find myself in these situations, I have to take a beat because it's truly amazing to just look around and be like, can you believe that I'm really here right now? I know how many people would love to be in my shoes. I truly don't take it for granted and, and I love every minute of it.